Nikola Tesla, the greatest mind of all the time and also a man of mysteries, said that if you knew the magnificence of 3, 6 and 9, you would have a key to the universe. So what did he mean by this? Had he found some code of the universe? In this video, I will tell you why did Nikola Tesla say this. After watching the video, you will understand how our whole universe is controlled by numbers 3, 6 and 9 and how they are present everywhere in the universe. You will also know how the numbers 3, 6, 9 represent a higher dimensional world while rest of the numbers belong to our three dimensional world. I will also discuss how number 9 is the controller of all the other numbers and how it can control even space and time. Here I will provide many mathematical and physical evidences and examples to prove how the number 9 is present everywhere and is the controller of all the other numbers and the universe. Our universe is so mathematical. Almost everything in nature is highly symmetrical and follows geometrical patterns. We can see these patterns in the form of golden ratio and Fibonacci sequence present in many things in the nature. Everything is made up of particles and if we go deeper at even more microscopic level, we reach into the quantum world which is pure mathematics. All the living things in this world are made up of cells. Multicellular organisms are formed by the division of a single cell. A single cell divides into two cells, then after division of both the cells, we get four cells, then 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128 cells are produced. In this way, the doubling sequence continues and finally, we have a full multicellular organism. Now let's try to understand the sequence mathematically. You can see here is a sequence of doubling of numbers starting from number 1 like 1, 2, 4, 8 and so on. Here the next number is double of the previous number. Now we will convert all of these numbers into a single digit number. For this, we will add the digits of the number until we get a single digit number. This final single digit is called the digital root of the number. So here you can see the digital roots of these numbers. Now observe the digital roots shown in orange color. Can you observe a pattern here? You will see a repeated sequence of numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. Even if you repeat it up to infinity, the same pattern repeats. Now, instead of doubling the numbers, let's halve the numbers repeatedly. This time also, we will start with number 1. Add all the digits of the number and get the digital root as shown here. You will be surprised to see that this time too, we get the same numbers repeatedly that we got in case of doubling the numbers. So in both the cases of doubling and halving the numbers, we are getting the same numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5. Did you notice one amazing thing here? In both the sequences, numbers 3, 6 and 9 are missing every time. In the diagram, these repeating numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 are shown in a white color. And the numbers that are missing in the sequence every time, that is 3, 6 and 9, are shown by yellow color. But what does the absence of numbers 3, 6 and 9 in the sequence mean? Does it point to any secret code of the God or some mystery of the universe? According to some researchers, numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 7 and 5 represent our three-dimensional world where we live in. An absence of numbers 3, 6 and 9 in the sequence means these numbers belong to a higher dimensional world. But what will happen if we double or half the numbers starting from number 3 or 6? Let's double the numbers starting from number 3. On doubling the previous number, we get the next number. Now find the digital roots of the numbers. You will be surprised after seeing the results. We will get only two numbers, 3 and 6, every time. Notice all the numbers that were present in the previous sequence are absent this time. And numbers 3 and 6 were completely absent in the previous sequences. Ok, let's do some more maths. This time, we will halve the numbers repeatedly starting from number 3. 
here are the numbers now again get the digital roots of the numbers by adding the digits of the number and here is what we get amazing this time also we get the same numbers 3 and 6 hence whether we double or half the numbers if we start with number 3 we get numbers 3 and 6 only even if we double or half the numbers starting from number 6, we will get the same numbers 3 and 6 every time. But surprisingly, even this time, 9 is absent in the sequence. Actually, number 9 controls the numbers 3 and 6. And numbers 1, 2, 4 are controlled by number 3, while numbers 8, 7 and 5 are controlled by number 6. In this way, number 9 controls all the numbers. You will get incredible results when we start doubling and halving the numbers from number 9. We are getting only a single number number 9 what will happen if we have the numbers repeatedly starting from number 9 what you see we are getting number 9 every time no other number is present in the sequence even on adding the digits in the table of 9 we get number 9 only so we see whether we double or half the numbers starting from number 9 we always get the number 9 only it implies that number 9 represents itself now let me show you how powerful the number 9 is and how it is present everywhere in the universe let's start dividing a circle and see the sum of digits of the resulting angle as we know that a full circle makes an angle of 360 degrees at its center if we add the digits of 360 we get number 9 but what will happen if we keep on dividing the circle in half infinitely the results that you will get will definitely boggle your mind a semicircle makes an angle of 180 degrees at the center which again adds up to 9 now again divide the circle in half and we have an angle of 90 degrees find the digital root of the number it's 9 again repeat the same process and we will get 9 as the digital root now see what will happen if we keep on dividing the circle in half repeatedly unbelievably you will get number 9 as the digital root every time even on repeating the same process infinite times but is this true only for a circle or does it apply to polygons also here is a triangle we know that sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees on adding the digits of the number we get 9 in case of a rectangle also if we add the digits of the sum of all the interior angles of a rectangle which is 360 degrees we get number 9 now we have a pentagon sum of all the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees which also adds up to 9 we get the same digital root 9 on repeating the same process for hexagon heptagon and octagon If we keep on increasing the number of sides of the polygon, we will get the same number 9 every time. Did you notice an amazing thing here? When we were dividing the circle in half repeatedly, we were reaching the singularity of a space. 
as every time we got number 9 it means number 9 follows the space up to its singularity and when we were increasing the number of sides of the polygon the polygon was looking like a circle as the number of sides of the polygon approaches infinity it becomes a circle as in all the polygons we got number 9 it means number 9 also follows a space up to infinity so it is clear that number 9 is present from singularity of a space to the infinity of a space now i will give you some more examples that will help you in believing that number 9 exists at all the places in the universe Does number 9 has any relationship with time also? Yes, of course. It proves that number 9 is present everywhere in space and time. This is not all. If we talk about Hindu religion, we will find number 9 at different places. It has been found by the researchers that our universe vibrates at a frequency of 432 hertz. This 432 hertz also reduces to 9. A well-known symbol of Om on pronouncing correctly produces a frequency of 432 hertz, the frequency at which the universe vibrates. On observing the shape of the Om symbol, it appears to be a combination of 3, 6 and 9 with number 9 at the top of 3 and 6. A sacred number in Hinduism, 108, reduces to 9. Number of chapters in Srimad Bhagavad Gita is 18. Mahabharata war lasted for 18 days. Number of warriors left alive after the Mahabharata war was 18. Now I will prove how number 9 represents everything and also nothingness. Actually number 9 is same as number 0 in some sense. But how? Let's understand it. In any number if we replace 0 by 9 then there is no change in the digital root of the number. One more thing, as we get 0 on multiplying any number by 0, in the same way we get number 9 as the digital root on multiplying it with number 9, since 0 is same as 9. Let me tell you one more amazing fact about number 9. If we add all the numbers except number 9, that is from number 0 to number 8, the sum reduces to number 9. Hence we can say that number 9 represents all the other numbers. It represents itself and also nothingness and everything. Number 9 is the king of all the numbers that controls all the other numbers and space time. So friends, this was all about the mystery of numbers 3, 6 and 9. If you found the video interesting and informative, then please like and share the video. And to get the notifications of more such videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching the video completely. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye and take care.